Let's go back further than that. Y'all not the first people. Let's go back further than that. You see, and the further back you get, the more inconsequential you'll see your religion is. We're not dismissing it. We're just saying it's one amongst many. Christianity began, became as influential as it is around the world because it was forced on people. And because it was a religion of the state, Islam became the second most populous religion around the world because it was forced on people. And it was a religion of the state. See, African spirituality was never the religion of a state, of a modern state. You see what I'm saying? So these other religions, which are just as sophisticated and have just as much to offer as Islam, Christianity, and Hebrewism, they never get that type of attention because they were never forced on people and they never served as religions of the state. The state spread Christianity for political reasons. The state spread Islam for political reasons. But like you said, they don't know that history. So they assume the reason there's more Christians in the world than anybody else is because of the power of the message of Jesus Christ. Not at all. It's because the power of the guillotine of European kingdoms.